got the radio on and you wanted to go into V mode. So the V mode button is here in front of the shifter and I'm gonna press that down and all of a sudden, this is what you get for V mode. Um, there we go. Now it's now V mode is activated. Mm -hmm. So somebody's already been in here messing around because when you get <laughs> in here, this is how V mode is set up. So you can change the steering, the suspension, engine shift points, brake feel, the engine sound, and then the all wheel drive, which determines um, it's normally in a 50 50 split front to rear with your torque. Mm -hmm. And so you can pretty much shift it to a 30% up front and 70% to the rear. So each one of these, you can go back and go, if you want a, a softer suspension, you can go to tour and you can go to sport. So we tighten it up. Engine shift points, we go from snow to ice. Oops, and then you gotta hit change on that sometimes. You can go to tour mode and then some of these you have to select it or to sport brake feel you can go from tour up to sport so you can change these in v mode but these take everything initially to the extreme as the default and then if the driver wants to modify it they can do that and then once you do make your adjustments uh when you hit v mode again does it go back to those original settings or does it reset well good question i don't I think it'll come right back where we, oops I think I went too fast on that one sorry gonna hit that and V mode they stayed okay so they stayed they carried over okay yep okay good good yep which makes sense because it's we, we talk about in the materials that it, you can personalize V mode right so it's great that it latches over the next time you get back in yeah I mean similar to what BMW does with the M1 and M2 button you set it for your settings and I guess mm -hmm. you can have two different drivers. So in this case, you will want your preferences, uh, you know, to uh, take precedence. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sweet. It is. And what, what's interesting, what a lot of us do, because we've been driving them for about a week, or mm -hmm. I'm sorry, about a month, um, the engine sound, you can go all the way down to stealth mode and it gets really quiet, even though, because we have exhaust, active exhaust valves in here. Mm -hmm. So when you're in your neighborhood and you're going to work at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. and you don't want to shake the whole neighborhood, you can go into stealth mode and it's quiet all the way out. And then you can go up to tour or sport. And I say it that way because when you're in sport, I mean, this, this exhaust <laughs> rumbles. It nice. is. It is a V8 rumble that just comes straight through. It's really an exciting sound.